Mabuhay to all the likers and subscribers! If you are a new viewer, I'm Dr. Lilian de Satin Ebuen. You can call me Doc Lilian, Dr. Ebuen, or simply Lian. Welcome to my channel! I aspire to inspire by sharing my life lessons, advocacies, and learnings in 32 years as a dentist. In this episode, let's talk about home remedies for toothache. Here are five home remedies that we can immediately use in our home because it is readily available in the kitchen. Yeah. So number one, ice. If we experience toothache, just get the ice. Get an ice pack in your freezer. Ice pack or collect a, um, a, some cube ice. No. Wrap it in a cloth. Or towel and if your molar is on in pain you can press the cold directly on the site where you have the toothache you can hold it for about five to ten minutes of course if you can't stand the pain at uh, the cold um, ice then you can always let it go yeah well basically pwede naman press na lang ng ganyan no and then from time to time However, if the pain is really intensive, intensive yung pain, no? um, then you get your ice from the freezer again. Ganyan, no? Siyempre, yun. You can put it directly inside your mouth. Pwedeng hagatin doon sa molar na kung saan sumasakit. You can also wrap it here and go directly inside. Why cold? No? Kasi nga, di ba, pagka may pain and then there is inflammation, merong body heat. So, pagka mainit yan, nag expand yung muscles natin, nag expand yung, yung soft tissues natin na kung saan meron bacteria na, na tumutubo, ganun, no? So, the best immediate remedy that we can do is ice pack. Ice is an easy quick fix, but it is still important that we go visit our dentist whenever possible. Remedy number two. For toothache, we basically need just... Salt! Asin. Walang bahay na walang asin, ha? Lahat ng bahay may asin. Maaring sa ice, may, merong magsabi, ay, wala kaming ref, wala kaming freezer. Okay, pabayaan na yung ice. Sige, asin na lang. Ito, no escape. You can immediately fix, uh, immediately do a quick fix for your toothache with your uh, salt. Yan. So, how do we use salt? Na, gano ba kadami yung salt na ilalagay? Or how much water do we put? No? Siyempre, yun na nga. Uh, just actually hindi pwedeng isang spoon lang or isang lagay lang just continue to put so syempre mas maganda kung viscous siya or medyo malapot-lapot so, so, ibig sabihin sobrang alat na noon you know so okay and then you can mix it yan makikita ninyo na eto no lumalabo lumalabo siya so, importante din, yung water should be warm. Yan, kasi kung cold yung water, matagal mag-melt yung salt. Kikita mo rin, yung crystals ng salt dito, pag hindi pa nag-melt, big sabihin, malamig yung tubig mo. <laughs> Kailangan warm siya. Yan. Siyempre, di warm, kulang yung time para mag-init. Okay, so, just make sure it's warm. So, that warm water, salt water, put it in your mouth, siyempre, if mumog babad as much as possible. Kung nasaan yung tooth, eh, kalima, nandito yung tooth, eh, kundi, babad mo dito. Babad mo dyan. No? So, you can leave it there for a few minutes. Maybe one minute to three minutes and that's it. And then, spit out. Yung pain, mawawala. Pero, it's not instant pain. Again, this is just a quick fix. No? Siyempre, if later in the day, meron na naman ulit pain, o di, sige, you can do as much salt water gargle as much as you want. Okay siya. So, salt is a very good remedy for toothache. Sa experience ko nga, no, when I do surgery sa mga patients ko, I see very fast result na salt water lang ang 
remedy. Eh. So, okay, ang sinasabi ko sa pasyente, mag-gargle ng salt water. So, syempre, on the first day, cold talaga. Hindi naman pwedeng hot. Kasi after surgery, dapat uh, cold yung may cold compress muna. Kasi after the traumatic forces of surgery, syempre, kailangan ng cold compress for uh, the blood to stop also. Pero the next day, syempre, medyo sore na yung yung surgical site. So, what you do, yun na yung salt water. Dapat warm. So, yung warm water, you mix it with salt and then gargle or ibabat. Yan. So far, salt is one of the best remedy for toothache and inflammation or after surgery um, healing. So, salt has minerals that can easily heal yung um, surgical site. Okay. Remedy number three, hydrogen peroxide. Okay, hydrogen peroxide also helps in immediate relief of pain and inflammation. So, siguro naman, may mga bahay, mga bahay natin, no? Meron tayong hydrogen peroxide. So, syempre, hindi pwedeng full concentrate. You have to mix this with water. Didilute mo siya. So, like, one, par, one, t- one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide and four tablespoon of water and then you gargle babad to the surgical site or sa toothache immediate quick fix ulit siya for pain yung white blood cells natin kasi it also produces hydrogen peroxide yon so ano ba yung purpose bakit yung white blood cells pala natin ang produce ng hydrogen peroxide because this is also a defense mechanism to fight the parasites, bacteria, mga invading um, microbes sa katawan natin or sa bibig natin. In fact, this is a very good remedy. Yung hydrogen peroxide, just again, mix it. One tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, four tablespoon of water, you mix and you rinse. Yan ang gagamitin mong rinse. Babad mo for one minute. Siyempre, don't swallow. Spit it out. Si hydrogen peroxide is also perfect for tooth whitening. Sa mga gusto magpaputi ng ngipin dyan. This is also a good way and a very economical way to whiten your teeth. You see, you don't really have to spend so much for whitening. Magtsaga ka lang. Of course, it doesn't happen overnight. No, It takes time before. you. Again, ang mixture naman yon. syempre 50% hydrogen peroxide and 50% water. Lastly, lastly kay hydrogen peroxide pa rin, no? It avoid, dahil siya gamit natin for rinse, it's also perfect uh, way to avoid bad breath. Diba? Lalo na pag gising mo sa umaga, diba? All night, tulog ka, the saliva, babad na babad dyan, na walang, well, siyempre, stagnant yung saliva natin all night. Pag gising mo sa umaga, diba? Parang, sama ng amoy. But, kasi, kasi yung, yung saliva natin is full of bacteria. Maraming microbes na namuo doon. Yan. And the best way to get rid of this is, yes, important na kailangan mag-toothbrush talaga tayo ng ngipin. We need to floss. Yan, yan pa rin. Hindi pwedeng, oh, hydrogen peroxide lang, malinis na ngipin ko. Okay na, free from, ano na ako, good oral health na ako. No. Number one pa rin, importante na mag-toothbrush tayo, mag-floss tayo. Hydrogen peroxide for rinsing. If you want to use a very economical way of, of rinsing your mouth, to avoid the bad breath, yeah, hydrogen peroxide is a remedy, okay? Remedy number four, green tea. Green tea has tannins. So, tannins are very good for swelling and it is also good for toothache and inflammation. Yeah. So, what happens is if you have a toothache, a very bad toothache, get warm water, pour hot warm water here, soak the tea bag, and then collect the tea bag of course, and bite. Yan. Kagatin mo siya with your closed mouth. Until the tea bag gets cold. When the tea bag is cold, just remove it. However, there are toothaches that reacts to hot temperature. So, pag mainit yung tea or pag mainit yung tubig, sobrang lumalala yung toothache. Diba? So, anong gagawin? Tea bag pa rin ba? Yes, tea bag pa rin. But then, huwag mo nang buhusan ng, ng warm water. Wait for the water to get cold. So, when it's cold, tsaka mo lang siya kagatin with a close mouth. Again, let the tannins work against swelling. Actually, tannin ingredient is perfect also 
for uh, blood clotting. So, parang if you have um, to extraction no, after surgery, uh, tea bag is perfect for blood clot to stop the bleeding. Yan. Um, Siyempre, hindi hot ang gagamitin mo. Cold. Cold tea bag. Yan. Remedy number five. Bawang. Ang bawang. Okay. Garlic is a perfect remedy for toothache. Actually, there's so many ways of using garlic to fight toothache. No? One is, you can use, uh, you can make tea out of garlic. No? Sige, so, like, you juice the garlic get the juice you can put it in a cotton ball na maliit and then you can plug it in your tooth kung saan may toothache no and then next one pwede rin naman um, minced garlic you mince the garlic and then you wrap it in cloth like this no you wrap it, the minced garlic here yan and then you bite it you bite on it yan pwede rin yon or simply just cut the garlic and plug. <laughs> Yun, derecho na plug. Yun. Actually, ang nag-fight ng toothache don is the juice of the garlic. So, so many ways of how, how to use that garlic. Pwede garlic tea? No, after eating. Oh, after eating, tapos may toothache ka. Edi, gawa ka ng garlic tea. Kuha ka ng mainit na tubig, lubog mo yung garlic, and then after eating your lunch or your dinner, may toothache ka, you gargle the garlic juice. I'd like to end this vlog with a myth saying kids don't need to brush their baby teeth. Totoo ba yun? No, it's not true. It's not true. Belief system lang yan. No? Huwag naman niwala sa mga ganyan. Dapat, Sa bata pa lang, as young as 2 years old, or kung kailan tumubo yung mga ngipin nila, 6 months or something, of course, 6 months old baby, tutubuan na ng ngipin, but they cannot brush their teeth. Mothers will brush their teeth, di ba? Pero pagka, syempre, marunong na humawak ng toothbrush ang bata, then, make sure that us parents will teach them how to brush their teeth. Yan. Importante na, as young as they are, na marunong na mag-toothbrush, patutbrushin na sila ng ngipin. You see, tooth decay can lead to other health concerns. So it is always important that teeth should be taken care of by your dentist. So if you have questions and dental topics that you want me to discuss, write your comment below. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Dr. Celerina Lasaten, my mother. Hey, ikaw. What inspired you to be a dentist? May your Mother's Day be filled with as much happiness as you bring to your family.